Right, hi, welcome to 100% LCFC. I'm Phil Holloway and I'm here with a new member of the 100% LCFC team. It's Dan Middleton. Hi, Dan. How are you doing? You all right? Yeah, I'm good, apart from the fact my phone's going at the same time. <laughs> it's Claudio. I've told him not to not to ring me during videos. So welcome right. to the team, Dan. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's good to be here. Good. Now, Dan, you're going to be bringing us a bit of the flavour. Some people love stats, some people ha hate them, but it is a massive part now of the uh, the game for all Premier League sides, isn't it, to, to look at those stats and see what's going on? Yeah, it's, it's based around analysis, isn't it? So you, you go into to games ahead and you, you look at the other team and look at how they prepare, um, look at previous games that they've played, sort of the same styles, and it's all about picking up on the little things. And that's probably a reason why Leicester have been so successful. So I'll be looking at them. Um, from previous games and building up to the matches ahead. Brilliant. Now, I mean, we could start with one of the best performances in, in Leicester's recent history, you could argue, the game up at uh, the Etihad yeah. Stadium on Saturday. If we look back to the Man City game, obviously the big stat that really counts is three points and 3-1 to Leicester. But have you got some finer details of what went on in that game for us? Yeah, I have actually. Um, we only had 34% of the ball um, throughout the 90 minutes. So, for some, for, to win 3-1 with 34% of the ball, um, with 14 shots, seven on target, is quite outstanding, really, because you, obviously Man City will always have the ball. At the Etihad, they always control possession, 60-70% realistically per game. Um, but for, to score three goals, let alone one at the Etihad, I think is quite remarkable. Um, going two goals ahead um, through Robert Hoof was, you know, it, him scoring a brace was just incredible. Yeah. No one would have thought Robert Hoof, you know, to do that. Um, and he scored more goals in the last five appearances, so that's three, in his previous 86 yeah. games. Well, it was nice to see us come forward from some of these set plays. Uh, one from the free kick early on in the first half, and then and then his second goal in the, in the uh, second half from a corner. It's good to see us actually converting some of these chances, because as you, as you were saying, 34% of possession isn't a lot, but it's that damage we're causing when we've got the ball. I think Ranieri's made it clear this season he wants more goals from set pieces. And under Nigel Pearson, we didn't really score often. And it was a very big shock to most fans yeah. when we did score from any sort of set piece. Um, and this season, we've changed that quite a bit now. And we, we seem a lot more dominant in the air, um, not just attacking-wise, but defensively. Um, we, we seem very assured um, dealing with set pieces, let alone scoring them. So, yeah, it's been very, very good so far. And, and long may it continue yeah, for the last absolutely. season. I mean, those seven shots, we had seven shots on target, did you say? Yes, we did, yeah. Yeah, I think that was more shots on target than Man City. Yeah, they only had four on target. They had 22 yeah. shots, Man City, and only four on target. So, again, it's that quality of when you've got the ball, because if, if we had 34%, that means they've had 60, 66%, if my maths is right. Yeah. So, they've had way more possession, they've had more shots, but they've had less on target. So, it, it's about that quality again, isn't it? Well, it, it is. And Man City, against the top six teams this season, haven't actually beaten a top six side. They've drawn three and lost four of their seven games against the top six sides. Um, so coming into that, if people have picked up on that, they thought, you know, Leicester have a really good chance today. Um, and I didn't expect this to pick up 3-1. I, I fancied a draw myself. Yeah, I did uh, a draw. And I would have been happy with that from the Etihad because it keeps us sort of there and thereabouts, top, second. Um, but no, the, the three points was outstanding. Um, that result, Dan, really has set the world alight, I think. Literally, Twitter, ha hashtag Leicester was, yeah. was the number one topic on Twitter yeah. on Saturday night. Worldwide, not just in England, not in the Premier League, that was worldwide. Leicester was the biggest uh, talking point. So, you know, I think that game has probably put us on the map now. Oh, it has, for, for sure. I think people were still doubting us, even into the, into the last period of this of this season, um, whether we can hold on, whether we can beat the big teams. But we've shown time and time again that we can do battle against the bigger sides as such. Um, and now we've got to be taken a lot more seriously. And obviously three points against Arsenal would be the cherry on top of the perfect week. Yeah, absolutely. And I know you're going to join us later in the week, aren't you, Dan, to talk about Arsenal. And you've got some pre-match yeah. stats for that game. I have indeed. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that. I'll be bringing you all the, all the stats for, for the Arsenal game. Well, welcome, Dan. Thanks for joining 100% LCFC. Thanks for all those stats on the Man City game. And we'll see you later in the week to talk about Arsenal. Thanks for having me.